Happy Stimulus Day, everybody. Welcome to your daily news report on your first, second, and yes, now your third stimulus check update. The relief package, EIDL, PPP 2.0. Today is the 22nd. It's Friday. Happy Friday, TGIF, and happy Stimulus Day. Find out how the new executive orders will affect the future of stimulus and grants, and find out how the relief package signed on December 27th can affect the future of PPP and EIDL. You don't want to miss this. Come on and get your news. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Edward Builder. You guys are watching Ask Builder. To all my loyal subscribers, welcome back for another video. If you're new today, welcome to the channel. Uh, happy Stimulus Day, everybody. Yes, Joe Biden, the 46th president, declared today as National Stimulus Day, right? This is the day he's declaring that he's going to focus all of his energy on the new stimulus package. <laughs> Guys, so today we're going to talk current affairs. It's the big episode. We're going to talk current affairs of the relief package uh, and the new executive orders. We're also going to talk important dates and deadlines that you cannot miss. You cannot miss. Very important. We're going to go over stimulus checks. And we're going to tie the executive order relief package with how it affects the bottom line for the future programs, specific with PPP and EIDL. This is for all my gig workers that tune in regularly, all those small business owners, sole proprietors, everybody out there who's been affected by the EIDL advanced grants and the new EID, EID advanced targeted grants, and everybody out there applying for PPP 1.0 and 2.0. This is a big video. Stay to get your news. You're going to want to hear this. <laughs> so thank you to everybody who found me on Instagram. You guys are amazing. Ask Builder. You guys could PM me there anytime you want. And don't forget about the giveaway. When I hit my 5,000 subscriber, I'm picking one lucky comment from down below to send a $500 stimulus check to. So it is a happy stimulus day, guys. All right, let's get into the news. Okay, everybody. We have to talk about current affairs because current affairs really affect what's going to happen in our future. All right. Now, the relief package was signed in on 1227 by Donald Trump. And this new executive orders that just came out, this is all going to affect future PPP and EIDL. And stick around, you guys are going to hear why. So the relief package was signed in on 1227 and it brought to us PPP draw number 2, right? And reopen draw number 1. It also brought in EIDL for pandemic declaration. Very important to understand that. Economic Injury Disaster Loans for Pandemic Declaration. And it also brought in EIDL 331, right? Very important for those targeted advance. We're going to talk about this all later in the video. Very important, so stick around. We also are seeing stimulus checks, $600 to $1,200, uh, capped at like $2,400, and then we'll talk about the caps in just a moment, and the extension of unemployment uh, from the federal boost of $300 for 11 weeks. Now the deadline. Let's talk about deadlines real quick. PPP, last day to get your applications in, March, 30, March 31st. Get your application well in advance because the banks are going to close 5 to 10 days early. We saw this on the first round of PPP that the banks stopped taking applications 5 to 10 days in advance because it needs to reach the, the SBA. The EIDL declaration was extended to 1231. Very important. We're going to talk about the differences in 331 and 332 coming up later in the video, so stick around. Uh, EIDL 331 was included in this. Really no dates or deadlines outside of a 21-day window. And the stimulus checks, $600 for singles, $1,200 for a couple, uh, $600 per child under 17. It's capped at $75,000 for singles, $150,000 if you file joint, and then there's a reduced cap uh, if you hit these 87,000 uh, for singles, 174,000 per couple, or filing head of household, $112,500. Family of four could expect $2,400. Unemployment, $300 has been extended for 11 weeks until March 13th of 2021. It is not retro, and uh, it is not included in the most recent executive order. So I hope you had followed some of the advice that I gave uh, back in December to go back and get your retro checks for 10 grand. <laughs> okay, because that's over with. You're, you're not going to be able to declare those now. Uh, so the new executive order is bringing us extensions to the eviction moratorium, uh, the, how, the mortgage forbearances, and student loan forbearances. Now, the eviction moratorium was extended from January 31st to March 31st. 
and forbearance will follow, student loans have been paused out until September 30th of 2021. Now will be a good time for you guys with all this extra funds to go check out Weeble in the description. They're giving away four free stocks valued up to like three grand. Pretty simple. Some of you guys have already followed my link and you guys have already got your free stocks. So I thank you to everybody who followed the link. Uh, and get your life insurance. A lot of stress going on in as little as five minutes. Check it out in the description. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just answer a few questions and in less than five minutes, you have life insurance. Let's shift over and talk about Joe Biden and his big day declared national stimulus day so happy stimulus day everybody today's the day that joe biden is declaring he's going to start his negotiations now we haven't seen any draft on his stimulus plan but we could kind of speculate from what we've seen in the media from his campaign and that is within 100 days he wants to have schools reopened so plenty of funding will be heading towards schools uh he also talks about 1400 dollars in stimulus checks now it was originally two thousand dollars in stimulus checks but we've deducted 600 dollars from the relief package that just went out pulling it down to now $1,400. There had been no talk about PPP and there had been no talk about EIDL. That's very important though, so stick around. I'm gonna talk about this next, very, very important. All right, we have not seen any draft and these things usually leak out in the public. I mean, it's pretty common that they'll leak out to the media and then before you know it, it's all over the place. So the Republicans right now, they're dodging everything. They're dodging all talks of stimulus talk right now. They are not ready for a new package. And uh, they, they're still declaring that there's a lot of fluff built in there for bailing out local state, uh, local and state governments on their pensions. But the Democrats believe they could break the filibuster with the 61 votes and get the full portion of the original HEROES Act. And this is kind of why we believe that there hasn't been a draft release because you'll see portions of the HEROES Act that's been pulled out and put into the relief package. And then you'll see the balance. What's ever left over there is going to come with Biden's package. So together with the relief package and the new Biden package, you're going to get the <laughs> HEROES Act. Okay. So this is very important for the next topic on PPP and EIDL. Stick around because you're not going to want to miss out on any opportunities. Okay. I know you all stuck around to this part of the video so we could talk about EIDL, the CARES Act, Relief Act, 331 and 332. <laughs> a lot of a lot of misinformation out there on YouTube right now. And I, I want to give some perspective on the things that I'm seeing and the things that I've been doing research on. Because there's a lot of smart individuals, a lot of smart YouTubers that have great information, and then there's some that just have misinformation. So let's get to let's get to some things that I'm seeing as the perspective. Uh, so what is real right now? What is real right now is the CARES Act and the Relief Act. Those are laws today. They are laws. What is not real is the HEROES Act. The HEROES Act no longer exists, right? So let's let's take a moment and believe and understand that the HEROES Act, it doesn't exist. As I talked about earlier, the HEROES Act may occur, but it's going to occur in two different packages. Part of it came in the 27th, December 27th signing of the relief package. And now the other part of it will come with Joe Biden's stimulus package. So together, they equal the HEROES Act, right? And it's very common. It's very common when you're negotiating uh, in the Senate and in the House that if you're working on a package and one package doesn't get approved, that you'll take portions of that information, right? You've already drafted thousands and thousands of words, right? You have hundreds of words written. So you take parts of those packages out and you put them in the future packages based on the new negotiation. That's very common, right? You just go into your Word document, grab the information out, it's already written, and you paste it over here in your new thing. And then you amend it, you change it to what the new package is supposed to look like based on what everybody in the room negotiated. So when we're talking about EIDL and we're talking about the EIDL program for the grant, the advanced grant, and the targeted advanced grant, you're gonna notice that there's two different laws currently out there, the 331 and the 332, right? Now the 331, it's very specific and it's very easy to understand and follow because it specifically tells you about the $20 billion and it tells you about the 30, 300, 80, 20 rule that I talk about in all my videos. Here's one right here. You guys could check that out and it'll explain the eligibility of what that 30, 300, 80, 20 rule is. All right. And this is for the low income. This is for individuals that will, will be entitled to their full $10,000. They're going to get their full $10,000. Now what I see in 332 
332 is very separate from 331 because 331 is a brand new law and 332 is there to amend a previous law right it it says it is to amend the cares act uh specifically the 1110 and in the original cares act there's talks of the original 20 billion dollars and it's changed the time at which you can get your funds from three to 21 days and it extends the declaration for the eidl loans out to 12 31 2021 now why is that important extending the declaration from its previous date of 12 27 meant that anything outside of 12 27 you could no longer apply for eidl under pandemic declaration now if you now if you were under a hurricane declaration or under a flood declaration or under something else there would be a, a time frame in which you can apply for an eidl it's always been outlined like that okay so 332 has to extend the new declaration has to push it out to 1231 2021 otherwise you wouldn't be able to apply for a loan eidl loan it doesn't necessarily say that there will be any replenishment or fulfillment of the original cares act grants now we know what the original cares act grants were we believed that we could receive up to ten thousand dollars if we just told the sba hey i need it i need the full ten thousand dollars can you give it to me um and in, in another sense it can still tell you that you are going to get, going to receive in advance so let's say you applied for a loan right and you went out today and you applied for the eidl loan and you said hey i'm in a i'm in a tight bind i need an advance can i get an advance they may give you an advance under the new program but it wouldn't be a grant right it would it wouldn't be free money that you don't have to pay back it may just be you need it i could get it to you within 21 days here's an advance right but it's still going to have to be paid back <laughs> all right so very important remember the heroes act doesn't exist it's over with it's no longer here cares act and the relief are still here and the future joe biden's stimulus package is coming but right now they're not talking about ppp or eidl in those packages with joe biden so what we see in the relief package may be it we're, we're going to track this we're going to follow it right here on this channel and we will keep you guys updated on any changes all right thank you everybody for joining me i hope you guys found this video useful and helpful and gives you guys a little insight onto what's coming up in our future and what you need to take advantage of right now so you don't miss out on some opportunity remember there's twenty nine thousand dollars sitting out there up to 29 grand for uh, for ppp draw number two uh if you're in the 72 NAICS codes uh even the twenty thousand dollars if you're not all right uh, and you also don't want to miss out on the opportunities of the EIDL loan program. And now we know we have some upset things to talk about with the 332, uh, but there's still, a, there's still a silver lining out there. So check out all my other videos. I have videos all over here on PPP 2.0, uh, step-by-steps on how you can get the, the whole program through Bluevine or Lendio or you know what's going on with Cabbage and K-Servicing. I have them all here. So remember to like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and don't forget about my giveaway, right? Comment all over the place because... I'm hitting that moment where we're going to give away a $500 stimulus check, and you want to make sure you have your comments in and you're a subscriber. All right, guys. Thank you all, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.